question of the day for May 15th, 2024 is who had the best live action Joker performance in a movie? So I'm not counting, you know what I'm saying? RIPD uh, to uh, Cesar Romero. I'm not counting him. I'm talking about movie, not TV. So we got Jack Nicholson from Batman. Heath Ledger, R.I.P. from The Dark Knight in 2008. Jack Nicholson, Batman, 1989. Joaquin Phoenix, Joker in, what, 2019, I want to say? And Jared Leto's Joker in Suicide Squad, which I think was also, like, 2019 or something like that. So, let's start with Jack Nicholson. A lot of people feel like Jack Nicholson had the best overall Joker performance. Who, who had the best overall performance as the Joker? They feel like his character was more related to like the comic book and stuff like that. And like I still the the the, the scene where he said, "Wait till they get a load of me," like that. That's still. Like, whenever I think of Jack Nicholson, I always think of that scene. When, like, right after his accident and he became the Joker, he's like, wait till they get a load of me. Like, that 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 was a great scene. Then you got Heath Ledger's. Heath Ledger's, for a lot of people, like, that's pure comic book fans, they don't like Heath Ledger's performance in The, jo in the Dark Knight because they feel like it really wasn't really wasn't the Joker. It was just Heath Ledger is like a psychopath, crazy person. Which, I still feel like Heath Ledger's performance, like, I just feel like Heath Ledger gave a legendary performance in The Dark Knight. It's just like, and the fact that he, he basically closed himself off from the world to create that role where he didn't sleep. He just like took pills and stuff and he tried to perfect that role as the Joker. Like, and you still hear people talking about his legendary performance. He, Heath Ledger has been dead now for what, 16 years? Like 16, 17, 15, 16, 17 years. It's 2008, so I just feel like Heath Ledger's performance, it wasn't Joker, like, from the animated series of the comics, but as far as like a villain, just a badass villain, Heath Ledger did that shit. Then you have Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix really it like it was a, like a man that just went crazy basically and snapped and then start killing people. Like it really wasn't the Joker at all. Like. At least, like, Heath Ledger's was, like, a mysterious character. Like, I remember when Alfred tried to explain the Joker to Batman. And then he told him, he was like, perhaps this is a man that you don't understand, Mr. Wayne. Like, and then if you noticed in the Dark Knight, every time the Joker talked to somebody, he always had a different story of how he got those scars on his face. Which is, like, it's basically helping... Cause I know a lot of people don't say he don't talk about it, like it don't go off the comics, but in the comics, the Joker really didn't have an origin story. So the fact that the Joker was just giving people random backstories, I feel like that kind of helps with what was going like the comic book version of it kind of. So again, Joaquin Phoenix, though, his Joker, then they about to come out with another Joker. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be called. I forgot what it's called. But him and like, I think it's... Um, is it Lady Gaga? I think he is Lady Gaga, Harley Quinn. But yeah, and then you get Jerry Leto. I feel like Jerry Leto's Joker was really wasted. Because if you look at Jerry Leto as the Joker, like, he has the physique, the bill. He would have been the perfect, like, comic book, like, character, like, look to look like the actual Joker. The other ones were kind of too big to really be the Joker. But Jerry Leto, tall, skinny, like that, that's what the Joker really looks like. But then they gave him lime green hair and they gave him tattoos and put a grill in his mouth and he tattooed Mr. J on his chin. Like, come on, man, really? Like, that was over the top. Like, why did y'all do that? 
Like, it, oh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to hurt you. Really? Really? Bad. Like, come on, man. It, like, I felt like that. Like, when you first saw that trailer, you thought it had so much potential. But then you like, so I, I, I'm not even I'm not even trying to be funny. For me, Suicide Squad is the worst movie I have ever fucking seen in my life. The only parts of Suicide Squad I like was the ones with Deadshot and Margot Robbie. That's the, those are the only scenes I like. Everything else was so stupid. They picked a stupid villain in Enchantress. They picked stupid villains in, 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 in Killer Croc. Why is Killer Croc with them? Like, that was Diablo. Like, that was some stupid... All they had to do was watch Batman Assault on Arkham to know how they, how they should have did Suicide Squad, but they didn't. I like the second Suicide Squad way better than the first one. But yeah, let me know in the comment section who, what you think. Who do you think had the best live-action Joker performance in the movie? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Like and comment. More videos coming soon. Trey T out. Peace.